Hello, my Mandalorian friend. Today I present to you my 9 by 12 Profolio book. Let's turn off the mirror. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be this one. I hope you like reruns because you have to know that I received a, a lot of mail this week and that video is going to be called Not Epic Mail Day. Shoot, I had a name for it and I forget now. Hold on a second. <laughs> this time of the night, my brain becomes like a nonstick fan. Extreme Mail Day. Extreme Mail Day because I have about 10 items that came in the mail. Each one is guaranteed at least one autograph. I'm assuming like one or two of them have more than one picture or autograph. Whoa, what a way to start the book. Okay, so the story behind this one. I ordered this photo from GalaxyCon. They had a private signing with Jillian Anderson, X-Files. And... I actually got the shipping email at the very end of November telling me the item shipped. It was coming from Florida. As of December 5th, it was stuck in some kind of Miami distribution center. And for several weeks, I had no update. And I was so worried because this isn't, you know, if this thing got lost in the mail, sure, they'll give me a refund. I don't want a refund. And I can't find this picture anywhere. How am I going to get that beautiful gold autograph? The uh, person at GalaxyCon who I emailed said she truly believed it was still on its way. Lo and behold, a month and a day after it had been stuck in transit, I got it delivered. So I was super happy. I think a few of you all saw this posted in 69 Collectibles and elsewhere. I'm so happy about this. 8 by 12 uh, X-Files. Yeah, there's the potential to get my boy David Duchovny on there. But I have him right here! 8 by 10 This was from somebody on eBay who sold it. Said that they were, like, closing a mortgage for David Duchovny and, like, asked him to sign a bunch of autographs, which is pretty bold, and the guy was nice enough and signed it. Mitch Pileggi Skinner, love his character. Um, he's so cool. Another one of him. Ugh, this reflection. Okay, Google, turn off the ceiling. I'm Mandalorian, I know you like my high-tech lighting situation. Well, I guess where I'm sitting today, I'm getting a lot of reflection here. So, you could see it anyway, whatever. Chris Carter, creator, X-Files. That's another beautiful gold autograph. You know, the white border, whatever. I mean, obviously, I would rather it didn't have it, but I guess to fit the, the way this widescreen picture was taken. This is not authenticated. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, but this is, man, her youth looks so beautiful here. So this is like an old photo from a collector who I bought from on eBay. They were like getting rid of their collection, whatever. Uh, here we have, you know, Andy Lincoln. A Canadian seller on eBay. They said it's legit. I probably won't even send it off. I mean, it looks like, looks like his. This one was freaking expensive because it has Beckett authentication. Steve Carell, The Office. This one's signed by Rabbit. In my previous 8x10 book, I showed you six of seven photos I got as a part of a trade for my 11x14 Leah Thompson as Lorraine from Back to the Future. This was the seventh photo as part of the trade. You can't tell from, I guess, the video. The video makes the picture look normal, but it's actually... You see, the photo looks normal here, but in person, it looks like a little skinny, warped. But looks good on the video. So, well, 
I'm keeping it, obviously. This is something I bought from a fellow citizen. Uh, you know, grainy in person, but in the video it looks good. Chris, um, Michael, uh, oh my God, Jason Schwartzman. I say Chris Michael Jason. It's Jason Schwartzman. Dion Cole, he is hilarious in Blackish. And uh, this was really cheap on eBay. A seller had it for like 20 bucks shipped. He uh, collected graphs in California, so he got this one on the street. This was one of my. Gee, this was one of my OC dugout 80s mystery box photos. So I got this Kelly Bundy, which is Beckett Authenticated. Oh, there's the OC dugout sticker. That was one of three images. This is the second of three. Peter Renaday is the voice of Splinter. And the third one was actually the um, K. Juan um, picture that you saw in my previous book who played short round in the Indiana Jones. So those were my 380s pictures. This... Okay, so, like, you know, this is a 9 by 12 right? So, like, all the 8 by 10s I couldn't fit in my other 8 by 10 books ended up jumping into this book. But it's cool when I could find one picture, or like, a picture of the size that kind of almost takes up, like, the, the right size slot. This one was, like, a... What size was this one? Like, an 8.5 by 11, I think it was. 8.5 by 11. Right? Yeah. Um, Nick Castle didn't sign it as the shape. He signed it as Michael Myers. But I've seen that. I've seen this one in Autograph City as an 11 by 14. I just think it's so cool to have the old photo and then the newer one side by side like that. He's such a cute guy too, Nick Castle. Look at the Cougie. Um... Nick Castle signing as the shape. Now this one is Beckett Witnessed. That's a cool angle. Him looking down so spooky. I've got this man. I remember playing this game on NES Friday the 13th. And I played the new Friday the 13th on the PS4. But man, I remember playing this one. And, of course, I never won. With Even with Game Genie, like, you could barely beat Jason. And then, like, you beat him and he just comes back again, like, stronger than ever. But this game was very fun and thrilling. Um, hey, look, who's here? It's the picture that you have. Um, Beckett witnessed Ari. Jason won. Got that one really cheap. 8 by 10 um ebay actually i bought it from the same so i bought paid more for this one i paid something like 50 bucks for this one and i think i paid like like 22 bucks for this one all right oh more wrestlers so i told you i only collect like a handful of wrestlers and they're usually from this period racer ramon the bad guy man he's he cool that's old psa this photo, like the uh, Super Troopers one, is warped in person. I guess you can't tell from here, but it's like stretched vertically. So he looks skinnier. The, like, the picture looks skinnier than it's supposed to look. But that shot is cool. I couldn't deny it. I said, whatever, I'll get it. This one I got from a fellow citizen. I actually traded one of my Killer Frost photos for this. Because I, <laughs> for some reason at the time, I thought it was going to be like impossible to get a razor ramon and this gold autograph i said fine i'll do it i had like three daniel pennebakers so i traded um value worked out pretty evenly actually i think if anything um uh, uh george may have gotten out a little better because this is zobi authenticated and my danielle was beckett authenticated and i think that's the only thing that'll put the value of 
the one I gave him a little over the edge, but the value is all in the collector, right? And I love the bad guy, so love this photo. This one, man, Oye Me Chico, look at that. Silver autograph, very cool. You can't deny that style. And, oh man, look at this fireworks. That's cool. So I'm assuming this was from like, I mean, I don't, don't ask me if it was from the same wrestling event nowadays. It looks like he's wearing the same outfit and with the fireworks, it might've been the same. Who knows if it was like a WrestleMania or something like, like crazy diehard wrestling followers may know. Okay, who we got next? Oh, yes, Jake the Snake. If you've ever seen, I know for a period they had his documentary on Netflix, which is probably not on there now because, you know, they rotate stuff on Netflix, but Jake the Snake Resurrection. Man, what a good documentary. And um, you get an appearance from, from the bad guy in that documentary. It's very, very cool. There's Jake the Snake. So this one is JSA Witnessed. And this one is rest, um, authenticated by Pro Wrestling Tees, which I understand is a, a reliable um, autographing thingy for wrestlers, wrestling photos. Oh, um, so here I have the pages reserved for two different 8x10 photos I have from... Spinal Tap, which is an awesome comedy. And it's in the house. So like I said, I hope you like reruns because we're going to redo these books when I get them filled. This is from... Actually, the next few photos are from a uh, fellow citizen, Vinny, who I bought like a bunch of these horror... Uh, really awesome seller and he packaged them really really well um so that's jason six i actually bought the different photos because i liked the different shots and i'm like well i like them in the water i like them coming out of the water i like them in the rain this is a different this is a different jason what the hell hold on a second what this wait a minute I guess there's a different Jason in the beginning. I thought the other Jason was Jason 7. Now we've got to look that up. Because these are all Jason 6. This is... uh, Jeez, what's his name? CJ? Or... Well, these two are the same guy. But then this is somebody else. So I think it was maybe just like that first scene. It's a different Jason. This is back to the other Jason. But like, please, what I mean, cool, like different pictures. And then in the woods, like they just all seem Friday the 13th appropriate. Can I set this down here? The Thing, one of the most awesome horror movies. And uh, that soundtrack, man, you can't deny it. Now, um... Ricky Gervais is so cool. He loves animals. He's an atheist. Genius. Comedian. This one is ACOA authenticated. He is so cool. This did not pass. <laughs> Back in authentication. What am I going to do? They gave me a refund. I threw the photo in here. I guess you're in my Star Trek section of my 9 by 12. This is the 8.5 by 9 by 12. Whatever it is, it didn't pass. Nine autographs. I think it's legit. Some of the reasons Beckett said were like, the, um, the spacing was weird and 
you know, I mean, look, you have to fit it, right? But look at this. Look at that Picard. I think that's real. And I've seen, I have, I have an authenticated Jonathan Frakes. That's, who's that? JSA. So doesn't that look like that? I'd say, yeah. I'd say, yeah, look at that J. Look at that F. Well, the Edis F has a line, but I mean, no, I'd say, yeah. I'd say, yeah. What am I going to do? I got a refund on this. This freaking thing was expensive. So it was like, it was like almost 300 bucks for the print. And I want to say like 250. So I sent it to Beckett. It failed. The seller gave me a full refund on the print and said that they would get back in touch with me about sending it back to them. They never got back to me. So I guess they didn't want it. And they were really apologetic about the fact that it failed. And I was like, no, well, you're making it easy to refund. So, you know, thank you. Um, so smart me, I went and sent it off to JSA and it failed a second time. But because these are, this is a cast piece, I paid a hundred dollars each time. To get it, to be absolutely certain it, it wouldn't pass. So $100 to Beckett, $100 to JSA, failed twice. Got my $250 refund on the picture. All in all, I ended up spending $200 bucks basically to keep it. And I've got the COA from whatever rando company the COA came from. Well, anyway. This was like a Christmas special they were doing on... Uh, who was it? OC Dugout. I think the retail price of this was $500 or $400. And they were selling it for $199 cast piece. I said, yeah, why not? 8x10. This white thing behind it is the letter of authenticity. I like to keep the certificates or the letters behind the photo. So like I know that it's in the book with the photo and there's no issue finding it. Whatever. Um, and I don't think it looks bad. I, I centered it well enough. Now this is back at Authenticated and also OC Dugout. They were giving this picture in some of their 80s boxes. I didn't get this one, obviously. I got the other one of her on the couch, but I bought this off of a seller on eBay. Later bought another version of this exact photo where there's more in the frame you could actually see her legs and her shoes and the picture is really cool it's actually an older print like like that day with the white borders um the autograph didn't look like didn't look like this that very loopy kind of tight it was similar but not real like not and it failed. I just got the email today from Beckett. It failed, but I don't care. I paid 30 bucks for that other copy. I'm going to keep the other copy. I guess I'll keep this one, too. I was going to sell this one if the other one passed. Now I guess I have to keep them both. This one. Okay, so you see what I mean? Like, when you get these older prints, they look cleaner. The color is more real, like, true to life. And they tend to have more... Of what was originally in the photo versus like here where the zoom in to get a closer picture of her. Look at the set. Pick, the color is saturated. You get stuff cut off. Um, so they had this. They had this one. And like in the 11 by 14 it cuts off like right there. And then it's magnified. So it's like not as sharp. And then it's saturated in color. Right? So the 11 by 14 was going for like 100 bucks. And this freaking 8 by 10 was like $250. So I had to bother the guy a bunch of times. And eventually, I think I got it for like... I mean, I still paid more than comparatively speaking. But I really wanted this one. And it's got like more of the leg. You know, it's like a real picture. True to true colors and stuff. Man, I don't remember what I paid, but still it was like double what the 11 by 14 was going for. But this is the one I want. Collectors know what they want. 
What am I going to throw in here? I guess we'll have to see the, um, the rerun. Oh, this is a good time to count how many 8x10 slots I have. I hope I don't have to buy another book. Because then I'm going to have to buy more pictures. Uh, one, two, three, four, five slots. Yeesh. I might be getting another 8x10. This is Ricky Gervais from his program, Afterlife, which is on Netflix. And it's such a good show. They have two seasons. They booked the third. So, you know, it's a really touching show. Very good sense of humor. But, yeah, it deals with some serious topics. And, he, and he's incredible, as always. And the booty's incredible, too. This is one of five photos I got as a press kit for my favorite film of all time, Lost Highway. I sent, like, the other four to their respective people in the photos to try to get through the male autographs. This is a David Lynch movie, but that's Patricia Arquette. I love her in this photo. This is the press kit, actually. I threw the book in here. And Save the Clock Tower Flyer, which I won as part of my Back to the Future at Home box. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. See ya later. See ya on the streets!